All right, it's like there was a relief cut in there. I suppose I should have had it in the tool holder a bit further, but anyway, it was only taking really light cuts, so yeah, well, let's, uh, let's make up another tool and then I'll be back. Right, here we go, take two. Right, let's uh, get, reset the DRO and we'll be back to 1500. Right, here we go. Yeah, that's it, that's good. Right, we can come out of there. Now, as in uh, typical fashion of this uh, drawing, we got an inch and a half for the first ring. There's, there's no indication from what I can see, unless you can see something different to me, there's no indication of the position of the second ring. So I'm going to have to just um, sort of guess at it, you know, guess at the gap really. It's just, these, these drawings are just absolutely useless, they really are. So, according to my calculations, then we need to be I reckon looking at that somewhere is about there. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go there. Right, just going to clean them edges slightly. Just a very slight deburr, I think. Right, that's the ring grooves. Well, I want to just get in there and put just a little chamfer on there while I've still got concentricity. Facing it, facing it off afterwards isn't going to make any difference, so I need to just find something just to get a little chamfer in there. Get it with that, I think. Yep, i get it with that. Perfect. Yep, I'm quite pleased how that's come out so far. So now I've got to transfer this into a, a collet block, a square collet block, and I'll explain that over at the mill. There we go. There are the grooves. A little chamfer on there. Now we've got to get it set up in the block like that. Right. What I need to do is get this set up so that these internal features here where the pin goes through like that need to be perpendicular to the uh, block so 
Let's get that set up. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I'll figure it out in a minute. Oh, now, fortunately, those parallels sit quite tight in there, in between the two gudgeon pin ports, or, you know, the casting. So now, I want to try and turn this to get that perpendicular or parallel to these sides which are parallel to the end of the vise, like that. So, the only way I can really do it is quite possibly by eye. Um, how accurate is that going to be? It's probably going to be Let's put a little shim in there. Now you've all stopped laughing at my um, my setup. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to going to get this lined up on the edge. adjust it until I get it parallel Right, that's as bad as good as I can get it, I reckon. Yeah, quite pleased with that. Yep, it's, uh, it's the only way I know how. If you know something different, then put it in the comments. I'm happy with it. It's all I've got to go on. Perfect. Right, I'm going to take it out now. Um, I've got to drill and ream a quarter hole through there to put the, uh, it's a floating pin for the gudgeon pin. So I'm going to make a, a quarter hole through there, lay that down, get the quarter hole in there. Um, this, this indicates like a 3 16th diameter hole there. I'm not quite sure what that's for. The only thing I can think is it might be an oil hole um, because there is a similar one in the uh, water jacket. Um, but I won't drill that yet until I know what it's for. I'm going to just get on and do this and um, then hopefully we can uh, get this little gudgeon pin made and uh, attach the cotton rod so flip this over in the vise now and drill this quarter inch hole through 
So the idea of putting it in this square block initially was so that the position wouldn't change. So now I can lay this flat and I've got the exact same uh, Y position here. Actually I have to flip it that way so you can see what's going on a bit better but um, that'll be okay, I'm sure it will. Alright, that's nice and square. Alright, got to get a quarter of an inch hole all the way through for the gudgeon pin. Uh, I'm going to build up to it and then ream it to a quarter. Right, that's done. There you go, that's the inside, I've still got to get that bit of um, rubbish out of there, the holes, so that's pretty much complete now, what I'm going to do is just pop that back into the lathe and face that end off now, so that will go in there eventually once I get it drilled out. Right, I'm going to just hacksaw that off, or hacksaw the bowl cover off, and then I can just face that off then. <laughs> right, I'll keep that. I'll put that in the scrap bin, because I might use that one day, um, and that'll still be there in 10 years' time. I'm not worried about the concentricity. I can see it's running out a little bit, but... I'm only interested in just facing off this end. Good. Good job. Cash. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.